This video is about weird and terrifying animals. But you know what the weirdest animal is? Us. We love to be afraid. No other animal does this. You don't see gazelles on the Serengeti dressing up as cheetahs for a hoot. And there are well-studied psychological reasons why humans enjoy being frightened. And we have a video coming up all about fear and phobias. So hit all the stuff to make sure you don't miss it. It's gonna be our weirdest video yet. You know what's weird? Your skin tone. What now? What shade of orange is that? It's self-tanner. Tan? Who are you kidding? That's orange. I'm trying to do a thing here. You look like a new inmate at a prison where they eat nothing but carrots. I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you do. <sighs> now we indulge in all kinds of different ways to scare each other. But one of our favorite ways, monsters. Werewolves, zombies, chupacabra, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster. We get a satisfyingly fun chill when we hear stories about these creatures. Now, Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster aren't real, or are they? But here are 10 terrifying animals that actually exist, but I really wish they didn't. And here's an appetizer. Yo! That's a lizard squirting poisonous blood from its eyeballs. Whoa, 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 what? Why? And that's what we call a segue, folks. Welcome to the Y Files, where smart folks like us get together to talk nerdy. Now, if you've got a high IQ and a good sense of humor, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and that helps keep the content flowing like the Sea of Galilee. Galilee, what now? Amen, brother. Today's topic is terrifying animals. Now, the Earth is about four and a half billion years old, and when the Earth was young, it was much hotter. No, who wasn't? You're telling me. But as the Earth cooled, water emerged. It didn't take long for organic compounds to get together in a process called abiogenesis. Boom, life. When life began over three billion years ago, it was a single cell. Today, there are over nine million identified species of animals. That doesn't even count plants or uh, anything besides plants and animals. Now that's a lot, but according to nature.com, there's so much biodiversity that over 90% of animals are yet to be discovered. And it could take another thousand years to catalog them all. Some animal species are awesome. Puppies, kittens, bacon but some are absolutely terrifying. Hecklefish, how about you read the names? I'll fire off a few facts. Let's do it. Number one, giant horned lizard. The giant horned lizard, or the regal horned lizard, is three ounces of pure terror, 85 grams. His strike speed is over 22 miles an hour, 35 kph. That's twice as fast as a rattlesnake. It can grab prey five inches away, 13 centimeters, in 30 milliseconds. Now it takes 100 milliseconds for you to blink. So in that time, he can snatch two ants and choke down a whole cricket. Now this thing is not just fast, it's strong. If you scale up a horned lizard to the size of a full-grown bull and they go head to head, the bull is hamburger. Given its body to weight ratio, this horned lizard at that scale would yield 14,000 pounds of force. A full-grown bull, only 6,000. But what makes this guy terrifying is his unique defense mechanism, weaponized eyeballs. When threatened by a predator, it builds up pockets of blood in its eye sockets and it could shoot a stream almost six feet accurately. And its squirt force is more than twice that of a fire truck. A scientific term. Oh, by the way, the blood, it's toxic. Yeah, the lizard's main diet is poisonous harvester ants. It's immune to the venom, but it stores the venom and deploys it in that bloodstream like a bioweapon. And if that blood hits a predator in the mouth or the eyes, it's going to be in pain. It's going to be sick. It's not going to mess with the lizard again. Giant isopod. A wood louse or a pill bug is about one centimeter long and they're found all over the world. But what happens when you scale one of those up 40 times and throw it in the ocean? You got yourself a giant isopod. Giant isopods are deep sea scavengers that scoot around the ocean floor, pretty much eating anything they can find. Basically a Roomba of the sea. Not everyone is terrified of giant isopods. In some parts of Asia, they eat them. Nuh-uh, they do. And if you wanna see that, although I don't know why you would, I will link to some videos of folks cooking and eating giant isopods in the description below. Star-nosed mule. I'm uh, sorry. Star-nosed mole. <laughs> the star-nosed mole is one of Canada's most bizarre species. More bizarre than Canadians? Be nice. That thing looks like its face exploded into two anuses. It does. With hemorrhoids. That 
stuff is actually its nose, and it's covered in about 25,000 sense receptors known as Elmer's organs. Be very quiet. Its sense of smell is so acute that it can detect odor underwater. Oh boy, I'm glad I can't do that. I bet. It's like a sewer in here. I understand. I swim in my own waste, you know. It's time to clean your bowl. I get it. Thank you. The star-nosed mole is the world's fastest eating mammal. The time it takes for it to find, hunt, catch, and devour its prey is less than a quarter of a second. Its main diet is earthworms, but that doesn't make it any less terrifying. Amazonian giant centipede. Scolopendra gigantea is one of the world's largest centipedes. Found throughout South America, this aggressive predator will eat anything it can overpower. Animals 10 to 15 times its size. Insects, spiders, no problem. But this thing will also go after mice, bats, even birds if it can catch them. Not terrified yet? Well, the centipede, it's also venomous. Oh boy, can it kill people? It can. At least one human death has been attributed to its bite. It was found hiding inside a soda can. Cyclops shark. A shark should have two eyes. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. That's it? Well, this one's a bit of a curveball because this cyclops shark was real, but it's not technically a species. A shark fisherman found it inside a pregnant shark. When you say found, do you mean... Cut it out of the belly. I'm gonna be sick. Scientists have speculated that this shark fetus was suffering from cyclopia, meaning having one eye. The cyclopia is a birth disorder that actually affects 1 in 16,000 animal births, including humans. Rarely does an animal born with cyclopia survive birth, but sometimes, like with this calf born last year in India, they do make it. Mm -mm. Terrifying. Goblin shark. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark whose lineage goes back 125 million years. Its jaws are not connected to its skull, so it can kind of shoot out its teeth like a second face. It has the fastest jaws in the ocean. So fast, you can only see it in slow motion. What terrifies me is that face, which is how it got its name. It looks like someone haphazardly slapped a human mouth on a fish and called it good. Hey, seems okay to me. Number seven, horror frog. What if you crossed a werewolf with a poisonous frog? I don't recommend it. You'd end up with a horror frog, or sometimes called the hairy frog. Now, if you came across one of these, you don't want to touch it. Gerald Durrell was a famous TV host and naturalist who learned this the hard way. When this frog is grabbed or attacked, it breaks its own toes and forces the sharp bones through its skin to create claws. And that skin, it regenerates. Oh yes, it's also been called the Wolverine Frog. I'd like to buy this man a drink. It even starts out dangerous. <laughs> its tadpoles are muscular, carnivorous, and feature several rows of teeth. Terrifying from day one. Wait, 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 why, why are you showing this? This is a Trita Chihuahua Ocelti. I thought you called it Little Mr. Happy. It's an amphibian found in South America. Oh, I thought the... Now's not the time. This bowl is see-through, you know. I'm really uncomfortable right now. And I don't have eyelids, so this is all on you. Atre Tochuana are pretty rare and not completely understood. Though it looks like a snake, it's more biologically related to an earthworm or maybe another lungless amphibian like a salamander. Researchers are still... Yeah, I think we should move on. Agreed. Goliath Birdie the Spy... Holy s***! Sometimes the name says it all. The Goliath Bird Eater is the largest spider in the world. And it's called Bird Eater because an 18th century naturalist discovered one devouring a hummingbird. <sighs> now it rarely eats birds, but that's only because it can't catch them. It usually eats worms or large insects, but it will gladly eat mice, lizards, even snakes if it can catch them. Oh, like other tarantulas, it features fangs and venom. Of course it does. There are lots of videos online showing a goliath spider eating its prey. I will link some of those below, but be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. It's, it's awful. Watching a goliath feed in captivity is usually the only way to see it eat. In the wild, it prefers to dine in private. First, it catches its prey and then sicks the fangs in and stuns them or kills them. Then it drags the carcass back to its burrow and liquefies its insides and sucks them dry. Yum. The food chain works both ways, though. In parts of South America, the Goliath is part of the local cuisine. 
They're typically wrapped in banana leaves and then roasted over a fire. People on the internet say they taste like shrimp. I'll take their word for it. Human bot fly. No build up here. I'm telling you right up front, bot fly larvae are terror maggots that grow and feed on human flesh. I'm gonna show you this. You have been warned. There are several kinds of bot flies that infect mammals, but they're typically associated with large grazing mammals like horses or steer. But there are bot flies that infect humans and they use mosquitoes as a carrier. A female bot fly bites a mosquito, then the mosquito bites you and your body heat then triggers the eggs to hatch. Then they grow into larvae that burrow into the wound. It gets worse. The larvae then grow and they use your puncture your wound hole to um, poop. And when the bot fly is exposed, AKA pooping, you can tweeze it out. But the larvae are covered in tiny little spikes that anchor it into the flesh, which makes removal at this time kind of painful. Another option is just waiting three short months and it will grow big enough to just wiggle its way out on its own. No big deal. Could you wait three months? I could barely get through three seconds of watching these videos. Speaking of, there are lots of bot fly removal videos on YouTube, like way too many. I will link to some of the more gross ones below because I know some of you are into watching stuff like that. I don't know why. Seek help. But here's a life lesson. Let's say it's your wedding day and you've got a swollen, pussy, oozy pustule. You might want to have a doctor take a look at that. You could be the unwitting surrogate mother of the hellish flesh eating terror maggot known as the human bot fly. <laughs> Happy anniversary, honey. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. My name is AJ, that's Hecklefish. This has been The Y Files. Today we talked about the 10 most terrifying animals that actually exist. What animals did we miss? Put them in the comment section so everyone can check them out. We had fun creating this video for you. If you had fun watching, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. If you just found us, please consider subscribing. If we didn't earn your subscription today, I promise we'll keep making brainy content until we do earn it. Until next time, be safe, be kind, and know that you are appreciated. You look like Ryan Seacrest with a hangover. You look like a one-man boy band still chasing a dream. You look like a one-man boy band with the Instagram old filter. <laughs> I could do this all day.